Welcome to a second script in Modo in Python. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is that I am recording these videos as uh, convenience for myself. So I am learning Python and scripting in Modo at the moment. And when I learn new things, I record a video of them and I might as well upload them to YouTube so that everyone else can benefit from my experiences. So if you're an experienced programmer or ex experienced in, in Modo, at least, then these tutorials will not be for you. If you're new to Modo, then you might benefit from these videos. In these videos, I am also not going to type in code. As you can see, I already have some code over here. If you want to copy it, I suggest you pause the video and then you can copy the code and then you can continue watching the video. What I am going to show you is how I got to that code. So if you start out writing a script, you will need to search the wiki. And that is actually that I will be discussing. And in the meantime, there will be other things that I will be showing that will be useful. So I think that is the best approach for these tutorials. And this is also the best as a reference when you want to check out this video again. So first of all, the code that I have written here uses the new API. So that means when you go to the wiki, then it's Modo's TD SDK documentation. Uh, I've not checked out the old API yet, so that's maybe something for future tutorials. But right now, I am using the new API, and when you scroll down, you have the scene module. And that is what I will be tackling right now. So when I go back to Modo, you can see that I already have some code in here. I do an import of Modo, then a print to make my results visible better in the output window above. Maybe it's better that I run the code and then it will be easier to follow when I discuss the code. So right now I have nothing selected in my item list. When I run the code, it says result, nothing selected. Meshes, camera, slide selected, empty lists, then something special and I will discuss it later. And then meshes equals three, cameras equals two, and lights equals one. When I select, for instance, only this item mesh, run the code again. Now it says the following item is selected, model.mesh, and then it's internal name. And meshes selected is a list, and the rest is the same. And when I select multiple items, and now run the code, for each item that is selected, it says the following item is selected, meshes selected, camera selected, now there is a camera selected, no light selected, and the rest is the same. So that is what the code does, and now I will discuss how I got to that code with the use of the wiki. So I'm going to clear that output window, and the first statement of interest is a variable called misc and I'm assigning a modo.scene.scene to it. So when I go to the wiki, I have my scene module and my scene class and then class modo.scene.scene. So back to modo, now that I have a variable that is of type scene, I can call functions for that variable for that scene. And the first thing I wanted to check, if there were items selected and then print them out, or if nothing had been selected and then print selected. So I wanted to find a function that would return the items that got selected. So I went back to the wiki and did the search for selected. You see, Underneath here, I have selected to search. Of course, you get a bunch of results. And eventually, you, I got to the end of the list where it said selected. Now, I thought this was a function. So originally, I added parentheses to that 
statement. So I'm going to add parentheses now and run my code. And then I get an error, type error, list object is not callable. It took me quite some time to figure out why did this had happened. And eventually I did find the solution. I kept searching the wiki, so back to the wiki. And for selected, you see for other functions, you have between brackets, source. Uh, those are links to the source for those functions, but selected didn't have one. And I thought, well, it's probably also in there. So I opened source, went over there, then did a search for selected. And eventually, after a few clicks, I got to an add property. So selected is an add property. Now I'm new to Python, and so I had been over this when studying Python, but it's still a bit of a mystery to me, the properties. But anyway, uh, after reading about properties, I realized that, and back to this part of the wiki, there are no parentheses in here. So that made me realize that I can call that property to that class as a property, not as a function. So to recap, I have a variable called misc, which is my scene class. And then I'm assigning selected called from misc, misc.selected, and I store that in the variable itself. So that is a list that is being returned. And then I check to see whether that list is empty. And if it's empty, then print nothing selected. And else, then for x in range, and then len itself, so the length of my list, print the following item is selected, comma, and then itself, square brackets, x. And that is what you can see in the output. So when I clear this, I run my code again following item is selected, model the fish, and so on. So that is how I got to that code. Then continuing with the code that I have coded. So I have three print statements and they make use of the select selected by type function. And this is again of the class scene because it's being called from misc and misc is an instance of model.scene.c. So when I go to the wiki, at the end you have selected by type. And it takes two arguments, and one of them is mandatory, and it returns the selected items of a specific type. And the return type is a list of mono.item.item. So this function re uh, returns a list. So back to modo. So I have three print statements and I'm calling misc not selected by type. And the first time I'm calling for type mesh, the second time for type camera and the third time for type light. So when this is being printed, then it says meshes selected, and then it will return a list of the selected meshes, camera selected, a list of the selected cameras, and an empty list if the type is not selected. My next line of code is a print statement again, and this time I'm calling underscore all items for my misc class. And this is something that I came across when searching the wiki. And that is something that I will have to explore further. I can't tell you much more about it. Anyway, when it's being printed, it prints out bound, metal scene, all items of model.scene.c, object, add, etc. So I will have to check that further. And then I have, again, three print statements. And they make use of the misc dot item count. So again, a function that belongs to the scene class. 
and let's go to the wiki control home control f and item count and as you can see item count type it takes a parameter i type and it uh, the number of items of specified type in the scene returns that number of items with that type and the return type is an integer so back to model when i print these lines so misc dot item count mesh item type then i'm going to print meshes equals three the next one is print cameras and then a call to misc dot item count with a parameter camera and as you can see cameras is two and then the last one for lights the same missing dot selected item selected by type light and one so when i deselect everything and run the code again and i have a syntax error i will check that i'm back and i don't know what happened because when i run the code again it works with nothing selected so i really don't know what happened anyway so for misc dot item count and for mesh camera and light and these integers will stay the same because these tell me how much of those items are in the scene whether they are selected or not so with this item list these numbers will never change except when i for instance uh, create another mesh now i have another mesh when i run the code again so you see now meshes is four and so on so this concludes the overview of this script uh, i hope it wasn't too messy for you to follow uh, and as i said before this is done for my own convenience this video so i can go back to it to if i forget something what i had done then i can watch my own video again and i wanted to show you how i got to that code and not just typing in the code anyway i hope you found this useful there is one last thing that i wanted to show you I've already so shown this in other videos, but here you can see it with a practical example, uh, getting help with the help functions and the dir functions. And I should uncomment this, so this one has not been uncommented completely, and I have done something wrong over here. So help in between parentheses modo.scene.scene when i my cursor is on that line and i press alt shift and then press enter now in my output window you see i get help about the scene class one thing to note is i've uh, noticed that it ends with selected uh, when you go to the wiki when i go to the end of that class you also have selected by type and this is not being included when you do a help here in the python editor so when doing a help model.scene.scene or maybe with other classes this can be the case also you have to make sure that everything that is being returned is actually there in the wiki because for this example it isn't i can also do and i'm going to clear this window a dir.modo.scene.scene and when i press uh, alt shift enter now you can see an overview of all the attributes and functions that are in modo.scene.scene so here model.scene.scene and this is the result and you see now here actually selected by tab is being added but this can be a useful help method if you're looking for something 
and you don't want to go directly to the wiki, just search the available functions, for instance, you do dirmodo.scene.scene, you get this result and you, you see we have actors, add actor, add camera, add group, add item, and so on, my select, selected, selected by type, and so on, so we get an overview of in short notation, which is more convenient than when you go to the wiki, where everything is much more spread out. And you can do, of course, the same for other items. So here we do a help on modo.scene.scene dot underscore all items, alt shift enter. And then when I get to my output window, all items between parentheses self, unbound modo.scene.scene method. When I do for the same statement, modo.scene.scene.underscore all items at dir and alt shift enter, then I get everything that's important for all items and so on. I just wanted to show you that while you are doing your work you can make use of the help and of the dir and it doesn't have to be modo.scene.scene you can also do help modo and then oh and that's not the point so help modo and I have to be with my cursor on that line and now press alt shift enter and then you see in the output window you have your help of the modo when you do uh, dir dot modo and I'm gonna clear the output window again alt shift enter so I have to be with my cursor over here alt shift enter and now you see for an overview of dir modo and so on just wanted to show you that and I also wanted to show you the following. So, for instance, with the statement it's well equals misc dot selected, when I delete that, and when I have misc and then dot, and my cursor is right after the dots, when I press the tab key, I get auto completion. So I can scroll to select it and select that. So now that has been added. So we can also make use of the auto completion. And one last thing that I wanted to show you, when you're working in the Python editor in Modo itself, it's important to save your work regularly. So when you go to this icon, you get the prompts to save your work. Uh, when you have typed in a lot of code and Modo were to crash, for instance, or if you were to write some code that went into an infinite loop, then you probably have to shut down Modo and then you will lose your work. Uh, but instead of saving with the, the file like this every time, I simply do Control A to select everything, Control C to copy, and then I have an instance open of Notepad. I press Control A to select everything and then Control V to paste everything and go then go back to Modo and run my code now. When Modo were to quit like that, and I'm not going to save, then I still have my notepad open, and that is something that I can save. So then you have a copy, and copying and pasting like that is a lot faster than when you do a save uh, in Modo itself every time. So I do Control A to select everything, Control C to copy. I go to Notepad, I do again Control A for what is to replace what I was there, and Control V to paste, and then Control S to save. And that's much faster to save everything like that. So I hope you found this useful. Bye for now.